Nola Gent here in Helen, Georgia at the Helen Fest Hall. Good times in here. Yeah. Welcome to Nola Gent. Let the good times roll. If you're looking for what to do in Georgia, join us on this episode of our USA Travel Vlog as we head to Helen, Georgia to experience the official Oktoberfest at the Helen Chamber of Commerce Fest Hall, which is also the home of Oktoberfest in Helen. Oktoberfest in Helen, Georgia goes from September 8th to the 11th, September 15th through the 18th, September 22nd to the 25th, and September 29th all the way through October 30th. During the Oktoberfest events, there's plenty of live music as well. They also have Bingo Tuesday through Friday, April through August. And then they have other events with February, they have Fashion. In March, they have a trail tournament. May, they have a Spring Beer Fest, a Bavarian Fest. In September, they have their Oktoberfest Parade. November, they have the Lighting of the Village. November through December, they have the Kreiskindlmarkt. And then they have the December Christmas Parade, the Dropping of the Idlewice, and New Year's Eve event. The Helen Chamber of Commerce Fest Hall is located in Helen, Georgia at 1074 Idlewice Thrasse, which is about eight and a half hours and 554 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Helen, Georgia is known for having one of the largest and longest running celebrations of Oktoberfest in the USA, and the Helen Chamber of Commerce Fest Hall definitely gets you in that Oktoberfest spirit. So let's head on inside here and check this place out. This is a large space with a lot of things going on in here, and it is my first visit, so I have no clue what to expect other than there's live music. So there's a whole lot of tables and chairs here, lots of uh, souvenir items for sale, and the uh, domestic draft is $6, or for a pitcher it's $18. Import draft is $8 for a 16 ounce cup or $24 for the pitcher. And you can get a 2022 glass stein with beer for $32 and your refills are no kind of special. It's the same price as just buying another drink normal style. Doing a little experimentation later, I found I was able to get about eight ounces more on top of the 16 ounce serving in this mug, which you get about an extra half beer, which if you're here, multiple visits, maybe it would pay off, but for one visit, not so much. Then uh, domestic bottles are $6, and our craft import bottle beer is $8. So some uh, expensive beer. They have a concessions and bar area back here with malt blends for $6. And then we have a selection of wines where you can get a bottle for $27 or a glass for $7. Then another selection of wines with a bottle for $20 or a glass for $6. Then we get a snack menu with jalapeno cheese nachos, chili cheese nachos, barbecue nachos, extra chili or extra cheese, pretzels with beer cheese, beer cheese, barbecue sandwich, hot dog, chili dog, and we have drinks with soda, water, popcorn, dessert, brownie, small coffee, large coffee, cookies, and chips. So none of the snacks really appealed to me, so I decided to get a beer. And I also decided I would go ahead and get one of the 2022 glass steins with a beer on it for $32. Because at that price, surely it has to be a full liter I'm Mas of beer, right? So the total width tip was $38.27. The best all throws, look at your fancy glass. <laughs> so no, not a full liter of beer and kind of a rip off for a tiny mug like that, I think. And then no drinks on the dance floor on top of the uh, rip off price for not even a liter beer. Getting a little frustrated here now. Ah, all right, so they do have some uh, nice tables and chairs, but uh, I really think this should be a liter. To make that extra half beer you get in this mug worthwhile, you would need multiple, multiple visits to really make it pay off for the price. So uh, I wouldn't recommend it unless you just want a souvenir. Unless you're gonna drink about, oh, 10 beers or so. They do have some other food available in here, which are mostly a selection of sausages with some sauerkraut, red cabbage, potato salad, and some assorted other items. So the one thing that I did really enjoy here was the music, so let's check that out now. There's 
definitely no shortage of souvenir items here to get your full tourist experience on. They have a huge number of t-shirts, stuffed animals, mugs, and all kinds of hats. So don't worry about not finding a gift here. So this place gets started really early. I got here, which I thought was earlier in the evening. It seems it was maybe a little later for most of the other people that might have been attending this event. So it had some people in here, but overall it seemed a little light on the crowd. There are of course some beautiful artwork decorations throughout this facility you can't appreciate. So you should take a little time to enjoy that. Now, uh, make sure though that you're checking out who the bands are and what time they're starting and it looks like earlier is better than later here as most of Helen closes pretty darn early by my standards at least. Now we are time to drive so far. So, thanks so much to everybody at the Hell Fest Hall for an interesting time. Although I am a bit grumpy about getting charged such an expensive price for a tiny little mug as I've bought plenty of full liter mass Krugs for less money than I was charged for that baby cup I got instead. Most definitely, thanks so much to the band for their fantastic performance that really created a lot of good times in here. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge Gen channel, especially to my Patreons. If you would so kindly, go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it, as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. Then tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Knowledge Gen here, and thanks so much for watching. Just go ahead and destroy this video right here for more fun.